Welcome to the Atacama Desert, the driest non-polar desert in the world, where endless horizons meet surreal landscapes. Today we're exploring three fascinating hidden gems of this remarkable desert. After driving about 20 minutes on a very questionable road, you definitely need an off-road vehicle, we arrived to the Magic Pass. It's about 40 minutes from San Pedro de Atacama, 40-45 minutes drive and it's really cool Look. so this is the mysterious deserted magic bus located in one of the most remote areas of the Atacama this abandoned vehicle is said to have been a shelter for travelers and adventurers in the early 2000s though its origins remain unclear some believe it was part of an early film project that never took off while others say it was left behind by miners or explorers I searched for this one for about two hours when I came here last time in the night and I couldn't find it and now it's finally on Google Maps so you can find it more easily the magic bus Ooh. What do you guys think? Would you come visit this? I think they're gonna do the road soon, so it's gonna be easier to come see it. Whatever its history, the bus has become a quirky tourist attraction, adding a touch of mystery to this vast isolated landscape. Now it stands as a forgotten relic, offering travelers a glimpse into the desert's hidden past. can get on top of it if you come this way. It's cool, I love it. And look at this place. Looks like you're on the moon. And there's also a truck that you can buy some food and drinks there. That's my mom and my car. <laughs> it's cool. And it's actually uh, just about 30 minutes away from Lagunas Escondidas where you can go and float on uh, this water ice. Really cool. I have been there before. And maybe we'll go there now afterwards. There's no signal here. So if you need to talk to someone, you're a bit screwed. The true magic happens after the sun sets. If you explore the magic bus late at night, you're in for a breathtaking experience. The Atacama is one of the best stargazing locations on Earth, with crystal clear skies and virtually no light pollution. If you really want to be adventurous, you could get on the roof of the bus and lie back and watch the Milky Way stretch across the sky. It's a truly surreal moment that you'll definitely enjoy. So this is the entrance to the Lagunas and here is where you pay and you can pay by card with Visa and MasterCard and they show you this map. So you have the ticket entrance and then the parking one where we went where you change and then you go to this big Laguna that you can swim in and then you go to the small Lagunas to visit. And then you can go back in the car and go to this second parking and where you have the first laguna and then here where they have the changing room and i will show you i will show you outside <laughs> so it looks pretty cool they, they have the bathrooms and they have changing rooms over there and they do have showers but the showers the water is not working for some reason so hopefully when you guys will come it will work showers look amazing not not working at the moment unfortunately yeah and you have to park over here on the side
side of the road and it costs 10,000 for the general entry 10,000 Chilean pesos and then for kids until 18 5,000 and for older people is 3,000 for my mom it was 3,000 and if you are Chilean it's 2,000 so it's pretty cheap it's not bad so the next stop is Lagunas Escondidas de Bariloche and uh, they're very close to the bus, the magic bus. They're about 35, 40 minutes and it's a road that's super bumpy. You can drive about 80 kilometers per hour. Just take care when you break because we almost went off road. And now we're going to the first laguna where you can float and you can swim in it. In the other ones you can't swim but you can take photos and visit and take a look at this landscape. It's just so cool. It looks like you're on the moon. Look at these rocks. It's full of salt everywhere. So you have to take care not to cut yourself. You have to have trainers, not flip-flops. Look at this huge group, we're avoiding this, that's cool. They have bathrobes and everything, oh my god. I only have a towel. That'll do. Hola. Hola. That's my mom. She's waiting for me. I hope we can take a few photos, just us with the Laguna before I saw two more cars that were parked there, so they're gonna come as well. I just want to catch it while there's still not a lot of people. You can only stay about 20 minutes inside the Laguna, they don't let you stay longer. But the water's so cold, you don't need to stay longer anyway. Also, when you finish uh, bathing in the laguna, you're not allowed to wash yourself with fresh water right there because they say you ruin the salinity of the place. So you can only wash with the fresh water when you're near the car in the parking, unfortunately, or if you just can't stand the salt on your body from one laguna to the others, then I suggest you have some wet wipes or something and then you put them in your backpack. Look how she's floating. <laughs> if you do want to go for a swim, just take care not to splash any water in your eyes as it's really, really salty and it is difficult to swim in it. Believe me, I tried.
<laughs> if you do an organized tour, they give you bathrobes and hats, sun hats. So we arrived at the picnic area. This is the last stop from Bariloche. And you can eat your own food, you have to bring it as they don't have any food here. So if you come all this way, you have to bring your own food, make sure you have enough water. And this is the last Laguna where you cannot swim. Well, it's pretty nice to look at. And uh, after you swim in the salt, salty water, they give you a big gallon of water to shower but you have to do it at the first parking and yeah the first time i came here they had showers but now they don't have but they were saying they were gonna build some so hopefully by the time you come you're gonna have showers see you at the next destination we are at the hot springs puritama and you have to walk quite a while to get there it's about one hour and a half from Lagunas Escondidas de Bariloche. Pasa le ves de sus. Looks nice. Finally, we did arrive at Puritama Hot Springs, a natural oasis hidden in the middle of the Atacama's rocky landscape. These geothermal springs are a popular destination for both local and tourists, known for their therapeutic waters rich in minerals. The hot springs maintain a pleasant temperature of around 33 degrees Celsius, 91 degrees Fahrenheit, all year round, making it the perfect spot to relax after exploring the desert's rugged terrains. The name Puritama itself means hot water in the indigenous Atacamenemo language. Going to the first pool. This is the first pool. Yay! The spring number two. Hi. Hello. <laughs> YouTube channel. Yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Poopy. My mom. <laughs> She's so sweet. <laughs> what a girl. Like, like pickles. <laughs> like pickles? Welcome to Seychelles. <laughs> From mysterious relics to hidden lagoons and relaxing hot springs, the Atacama Desert is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. These natural gems not only showcase the beauty of this remote landscape, but also offer deeper connection to the timeless spirit of the desert. 
Thanks for joining me on this journey through the Atacama Desert and don't forget to subscribe for more travel adventures and fascinating destinations.